Welcome back to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. The Milwaukee Holiday Lights Festival has kicked off its 21st season, and it's going on now through January 1st. And here to tell us all about it is Erica Chang. She's the Marketing, Events, and Social Media Director for Milwaukee Downtown Bid Number 21. How are you, Erica? Great. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for being here because this is a very busy time of year for it's you. One of our favorite times. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, it's the most wonderful yeah. time of the year as well. But there's always this long list of fun and exciting things going on uh, in downtown Milwaukee, and the entire family can take part. So, if you would, uh, first and foremost, kind of give everybody an idea of what the Holiday Lights Festival is all about. Sure. So, one of the best parts about downtown during the holidays is all the stunning decor. There are three parks. Each of them is decorated to a different theme. Mm -hmm. So you can enjoy Polar Park, which is at Pear Marquette. It's beautiful snowman scenes right on the river, uh, really picturesque. Um, then at Cathedral Square, that one's kind of special. That's where we see students from all around the community come and decorate that park mm -hmm. together. So great for a stroll with the family, photos near the trees. And then Zeidler Union Square, that is um, where we have stunning new decor. It's only a couple years old um, and it's great. It's really interactive. So mm -hmm. you can take a photo in a large frame or you can sit on Santa's chair. Uh, it's Holiday Hearth powered by We Energy. So that park is absolutely beautiful. Highly recommend for photo ops. Yeah, I was going to say, you can do a lot of selfies and post it on social media. You guys do a hashtag? It is MKE that? Holiday Lights. So hashtag okay. MKE Holiday Lights. MKE yep. Holiday Lights. That way you can see everybody's pictures. Absolutely. And, uh, this is basically uh, the, the time that you light up uh, downtown Milwaukee just to get everybody in the holiday season. So the other day you lit up the tree at City Hall and then you have those beautiful lanterns. I yeah. always talk to Beth about those and you've utilized those again along Wisconsin Avenue. Yes, so we'll mm -hmm. have the stunning chandeliers over downtown intersections. People drive under them but you can also walk and take a photo of them. There's a beautiful view if you stand on Wisconsin Avenue and look east you can see chandelier after chandelier. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. Did I call it a lantern? Oh, that <laughs> That Chandelier too. sounds more fabulous. It's yes. very elegant. So <laughs> yes, it beautiful. is. Beautiful, and we have those all around downtown. Yes, mm -hmm. it looks like a winter wonderland, especially since we got snow so early. <laughs> it really it adds a little bit of magic to mm -hmm. it, I think. It really does. And so uh, with the time flying by, I tell you, now through December 15th, of course, the kiddos, like they do every year, mm -hmm. they can go down to Cathedral Square Park and mail off their letters to Santa. Yes. What do they need to know? They Okay, so the, the mailbox, like you said, is at Cathedral Square. Um, make sure to include a return address so mm -hmm. that Santa knows where to send the letter. Mm -hmm. No postage necessary. And then kids will receive a um, customized handwritten response back from Santa himself. So it's a really special program. Yes, indeed. Yeah. And uh, another thing, uh, December, well, now through December 29th, people can catch a ride on the ever so popular popular jingle bus yes. and it costs all of two dollars. Yes, it's highly recommended. One of our favorite ways for families to get to see downtown during mm -hmm. the holidays. Two bucks, you get a holiday treat and it's a 40 minute tour on a warm, cozy coach bus. Yes, you're not trying to walk and see everything, but exactly. uh, you have your uh, ambassadors who actually give a guided tour, and it's those things that we drive past every day. Sometimes we're walking past them and we really don't pay attention, but this is the time to kind of relax with the family and take it all in. Absolutely, and Milwaukee really shines this time of year. I know mm -hmm. it's cold, but there's so much to see and do, and our ambassadors are experts on that. So they'll point out Milwaukee history and landmarks and architecture, but also the holiday sites and make recommendations for what your family can visit downtown during this season. And that's a 40 minute tour. And so you've already said there are some refreshments and then there's discounted parking, which everybody can appreciate. Yes, absolutely. Park at the interstate parking lot right there at the avenue. Mm -hmm. um, great accessibility. And then we always recommend after you go on your jingle bus ride, make note of the things you want to go back and see. There's one of the parks is very close to the jingle bus warming house. Um, that Zeidler Union Square where you can kind of interact with the pieces mm -hmm. a little bit more. So make note of those and then visit after your ride. Makes a lot of sense to me. And so with this tour that's showing key landmarks and key attractions, that reminded me of your ornament that you have available every year. I think I've got like four. So this year, what is that special landmark that is going to be uh, spotlighted? So we are celebrating the Marcus Center of the Performing Arts. Uh -huh. It's their 50th anniversary, so we have the stunning 
stunning pewter ornament uh, as this year's. And then we've got 18 ornaments before that, really iconic uh, Milwaukee buildings, downtown icons. So those are all available at MilwaukeeHolidayLights.com. Really, really thoughtful and unique gift for folks in your life. So I only have four. I'm kind of behind. <laughs> like there are 18. There's a whole collection. <laughs> yes, yeah, and absolutely. people can actually go on your website and order uh, some of the past ornaments, right? Yes, and we do hear of people who collect them and their whole tree is beautiful Milwaukee That's icon. That's amazing. So, yeah. yeah, and nowadays people do multiple trees through the house. So you can just, you know, dedicate one tree to everything Milwaukee. Exactly. That would be awesome. I think everyone should do that. You know, like little bucks and brewers ornaments. Absolutely. That would be and so Pfizer cool. Forum is one of our past ornaments from last year so okay. new buildings as well it's fun to see those that is really cool so uh, you've got your neighborhood holiday tree that's at 310 W Plaza yeah. that's Thursday December 5th uh, what's that all about because there are trees everywhere right <laughs> yeah. so this is really unique because it's in West Town and we've seen so much growth and revitalization in that neighborhood mm -hmm. recently so to be able to come together as a neighborhood and celebrate um, with a unique tree lighting ceremony some entertainment a partnership with the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra we think it's gonna be a really special time for that neighborhood specifically and uh, moving on uh, at Veterans Park December 8th there's the Santa Hustle 5k Milwaukee run walk and I'm guessing that is weather permitting <laughs> oh my goodness I know and you know people are serious it's fun but people enjoy being out in the winter at these runs and so um, events like that throughout downtown during the season we've got them all listed actually at mm -hmm. MilwaukeeHolidayLights.com people can see the holiday themed events but also the shows the restaurants um, the dining options um, shopping all of that is available online so yep. you can make your own itinerary and you've holidays. got it all categorized so when you have family that's coming into town and you're saying oh what is there to do they really can go to your website Absolutely. and get a real clear picture of everything that's going on and like you said just kind of create their own itinerary and yes. enjoy the holidays it's super yeah. comprehensive and we also offer a holiday lights guide if you want to keep that piece in your home we can okay. mail one just uh, go to our website and we'll be able to provide one that's awesome yeah. so uh, you have this free outdoor event that's fit for the entire family and it's called Coco with the closets and it's really cool because the kids are mesmerized, some adults as well, but yeah. they see Mr. and Mrs. Claus and they're able to, you know, talk to them, take pictures, and create memories. Absolutely. And this event is really unique because it is free and this is a chance for kids and families to get that keepsake photo with mm -hmm. Santa, holiday treats, music, there's entertainment. It's an awesome event for the whole family. That is on Saturday, December 14th. Highly recommend at Cathedral Square, Coco with the Clauses. Okay, and that's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and there's a lot to mark on your calendars. Uh, so uh, it's so easy just to go to the website, like I said, but uh, so much going on around downtown. You've got Small Business Saturday that kicks off on November 30th in historic Third Ward, right? Absolutely, and it's a great neighborhood for shopping. There are so many oh, yeah. retail options, and we recommend taking the hop. It's an easy way to get to the Third Ward and around downtown, access to so many of those really desirable shops along that route. Yes, and in the Third Ward, so many awesome boutiques with unique items you know those things where people are like where did you get that so uh, if you're always looking for uh, things that are different or if you're looking for unique gifts during this time of year that is a smart place to yes, start. Yes must stop there during the holidays. <laughs> yes indeed. So uh, one thing that people do year after year is hit the ice skating rink and that's a slice of ice and that's going to be going on during the coldest part of winter but people are out there taking it all in. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's a great spot and it's actually completely free if you bring your own skates, otherwise really affordable to rent them. Mm -hmm. Warming house there at the Starbucks, another great item on your family to-do list for the holidays. I love it all. So um, talking about different uh, businesses and organizations that are downtown, you guys are kind of partnered up to make sure everybody knows about it. So you've got a visit with Santa at Discovery World at Christmas in the Ward and that's on Friday, December Number six, so a lot of appointments with Santa. Absolutely, <laughs> there's no shortage. We right, have plenty of, and it's so fun to see the families come out for that. We know that that's really special for so many families to experience this season. And when we talk about our veterans, there's this free event that's pretty special at the War Memorial Center, and that's Friday, December six, called Light Up the Branches. And I think this concept is amazing because you've got five Christmas trees that are representing each branch of the military and 
it was so creative. Absolutely. Whoever thought of that, kudos. So <laughs> unique and a very uh, meaningful event. I yes, think. I agree with you on that. So uh, there are some really cool sculptures that people have probably uh, started to notice around downtown, especially with the DNC coming mm -hmm. uh, in the summer. Um, you guys have some really cool conversation pieces and things that people should be looking out for as they make their way around downtown, right? Absolutely. We've seen some of the pieces from Sculpture Milwaukee in the mm -hmm. summer actually stay here um, throughout the year. So people will see some of those on the Jingle Bus. We'll be able to point out a few that have stayed. So keep an eye out for those. I like that. So is there anything else that we need to know about that's happening uh, that I maybe failed to mention? You know, I think you covered it all really well. Again, I recommend more. MilwaukeeHolidayLights.com. That's where you can get the full list of events, all those opportunities to see Santa. Yeah. Um, really a great resource for planning. Yeah, and just for people who may not be aware, if you would kind of explain uh, what your organization specializes in, because this is just one of the many things that you do throughout the year, and really giving that pride to uh, people who live here and making sure downtown is a place where they want to be. Absolutely, and we believe downtown is a place for everyone. So everything we do is about making it clean, accessible, friendly um, a place where people really want to be so as the downtown business improvement district that's our priority and so yeah. one of those ways is through events like this and a variety of other programs as well all right and so the website once again milwaukeeholidaylights.com there it is and we will see you around downtown because like I said we've only uh, hit on the tip of the iceberg scratch the surface, <laughs> you scratch bet. The surface. <laughs> a lot of fun and exciting things going on in every category like you said whether it is sports or the theater theater, uh, restaurants, there's something going on everywhere you turn and I do think this is the most exciting and dazzling part of the year. So thank you again for coming by. Thank you so much. See you downtown. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> Erica Chang is the Marketing Events and Social Media Director for Milwaukee Downtown Bid Number 21. For more information on the Holiday Lights Festival, again, the website is MilwaukeeHolidayLights.com. That's going to do it for today's show. I'm your host, Andrea Williams, as always. Thank you for watching. And I do hope you join us again next week as we take another look at Our Issues Milwaukee. Have a great day and happy holidays.